कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर एंड द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इट इज द वेल बिहेव प्रेफरेंसेस व्हाट वी मीन बाय द वेल बिहेव प्रेफरेंसेस दैट इज द बेसिक अजम्पन अंडर द टॉपिक ऑफ द इनडिफरेंस कर्व दैट द इनडिफरेंस कर्व शुड बी when the consumer is having the well behaved preferences then the indifference curve will follow the proper shape or the axioms so there are the th one two three different factors which we require to be followed by the indifference curve and number one is that if the preference of a consumer will be monotonic or the consumer is going to perform monotonically so what we mean by the monotonically monotonically is a very simple concept the other way around we will say a consumer will always like to have more of a good to the less of a good ya agar hum kahe ki hamesha kisi bhi sarf ko kisi bhi commodity ki hamesha zyada se zyada miqdar ki talab rahegi uski thodi miqdar ke muqable mein aur isi behavior ki wajah se वो इंडिफरेंस कर्व में ट्रेड ऑफ करता है एक कमोडिटी को दूसरी कमोडिटी के साथ अब अगर वो दो बंडल्स को लेके चल रहा है तो अगर वो उसके पास एक बंडल एक्स वन एक्स टू है और दूसरा बंडल एक्स के मुकाबले में हम अगर कहें कि वाई वन वाई टू है अब इन दोनों बंडल्स के दरमियान में जिस बंडल में कमोडिटीज की मकदार ज़्यादा होती चली जाएगी रूल ऑफ मोनोटोनिसिटी कहता है कि कंज्यूमर हमेशा तरजीह देगा उस बंडल को जिसमें कमोडिटीज की मकदार या तादाद ज्यादा होगी अब इसी पॉइंट को हम अगर देखते हैं तो जब उसने एक जगह से ट्रेड ऑफ करके दूसरे बंडल के ट्रेड ऑफ पे आना है तो डेफिनेटली इस एक इंडिफरेंस का अप्रोच के ऊपर अगर हम देखें एक कर्व के ऊपर होते हुए और वो हायर लेवल की तरफ भी अगर जाएगा तो हायर लेवल इंडिफरेंस कर्व भी तभी मुमकिन है जब वो ज्यादा मकदार पहले के मुकाबले में ले रहा होगा सो वेन द कंज्यूमर विल बी हैविंग मोर अमाउंट ऑफ ए बंडल एक्स वन एक्स टू और एट द सेम टाइम मे हैव द अमाउंट ऑफ वाई वन वाई टू ही और द शी विल प्रेफर टू वर्ड्स हायर बंडल एंड द हायर लेवल ऑफ द इंडिफरेंस कर्व इन दिस वे वेन द कंज्यूमर विल मूव from one d indifference curve to the higher level indifference curve and then to other indifference curve he will reach towards the proper point of satiation or the bliss point so in this way we can say that the property of satiation or the property of monotonicity they both are equally indispensable for following the rules of indifference curve for each other without the presence of one the other cannot be expressed so in the economics we can say the subject where the everyone will be satiated in their consumption of every good but for a very little time and for a very particular point then the third concept related to this that is coming that is the convexity so in convexity we will say that it is related to the shape of the indifference curve so when we say that in consumer behavior consumers will be having a well behaved preference curves if those preferences they will be exhibited in the form of convexity and when we say the convexity it means it will be negatively slope towards the origin or it can be in the form of a uh, negatively sloped or inward sloping so because in this form we can say when we move from point a to b or b to c the consumer will be under the theory of parity to optimality or the welfare he or the she will be willing to sacrifice one commodity to attain the other commodity he will not be in a form that he will gain one commodity and he will gain the other commodity as well this condition will only be followed when the consumer has to move to the higher level of the indifference curve but on the same indifference curve 
this quality of convexity it requires that the consumer is just going to trade one commodity in lieu of the other commodity so if a consumer is having a bundle of the two commodities in which we can say that he is having 50 units of one commodity and the 50 units of the other commodity so as per counting he is having the 100 units now if he wants the 60 units of a commodity then definitely he has to sacrifice some units of the other commodity if the both goods will be perfect substitutes he will sacrifice in the same amount 10 and the 10 if that will be limited substitution he will also sacrifice but that substitution rate may differ so this property of convexity it will determine the shape of the proper well behaved preferences to have the properties of the indifference curve now in the diagram we can explain with a very simple way that if the consumer is having two points of consumption bundle here it is the indifference curve of the consumer and on this indifference curve we are having just two bundles depicted in this diagram but these two are just in the diagram otherwise we can have many other combinations on this indifference curve and these all combinations are equally good for the consumer and the consumer can trade off between any of these or all other bundles and the convexity is explained in a manner that if any two points that are extreme to this curve if they both are joined by a line and all the other matter and all other points they fall below then this point or on the left side we will say that that indifference curve or the utility curve is exhibiting the convexity because it is downward sloping so here the this point of z if we include it means at this point consumer is having half of these bundles and half of these bundles and now if he has to trade off he has to come at this point suppose so then he has to move from z to this point and for which he has to sacrifice this much amount of x1 to gain this much amount of x2 and if he has to move up to this point that we can say point q so to move from z to q consumer is again sacrificing amount of x he is gaining point x1 this much but he they are sacrificing this much amount of x2 so the property of convexity it maintains the property of indifference curve so the preferences they are strictly convex when we utilize the mixtures of the good not only the one so in indifference curve approach or all other problem that we are going to explain related to consumer behavior we used to express not only from one single commodity rather by the mixture of the goods or the bundles because that shows the natural tendency of the consumer to exhibit its expression of the preference now if we take the example of anything that is explained here in this one uh, diagram we can say in daily life aap bhi bahut sari cheezon ko istemal kar rahe honge to isliye aap usme se is example ko kahin par bhi applicable karke dekh sakte hain to hum agar usme kahein ki ek consumer jab bhi ek bundle ko bana raha hota hai to wo usme apni bahut sari commodities jo daily istemal ki ho rahi hoti hain वो उनकी वेटेड एवरेज बना रहा होता है फॉर दिस वो अगर एक को एक वेट दे रहा है दूसरी को दूसरा तो नेक्स्ट बंडल में वो उनके उस वेट को 
ट्रेड ऑफ कर रहा होगा और उसको ट्रेड ऑफ करते हुए ही वो अपने नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पर पहुंच रहा होता है फाइनली अगर हम इसमें देखें कि उसकी मूवमेंट क्या होगी तो हम इस डायग्राम में ये देखते हैं कि एक कंज्यूमर इफ ही इज हैविंग ऑल द बंडल्स अवेलेबल ऑन दिस इन डिफरेंस का एंड दिस इज द पॉइंट वेयर वी कैन सी दैट ही इज हैविंग द बेटर बंडल और द ऑप्टिमल बंडल बिकॉज दैट माइट बी हैविंग अ टेंजेंसी टू द बजट लाइन तो इफ इट इज लाइक दिस देर आर मेनी अदर इन डिफरेंस कर्व दे कैन बी अवेलेबल टू द कंज्यूमर इन दिस मैनर एंड इफ वी ड्रा अ सीरीज ऑफ इन डिफरेंस कर्व लाइक दिस एंड लाइक दिस तो ओवर द मैप ऑफ this indifference curve if we are going to draw the optimal points and we are going to join this we can have the movement like this that on right side or the left from that optimal point if consumer will move towards on the right side and the right side his level of betterment is going to increase and if from this point he is moving towards left and left it means the consumer is now on the worse bundles or his welfare is going to reduce so the in different positions we can say that the consumer either moving from leftward this point to the leftward so on the same in difference curve consumer will move from left to up and if right to right and down but if on different in difference curve then the consumer will move towards right and then towards left so this movement gives the consumer various levels of the welfare that he may attain from his previous point of the satiation or the previous point of the welfare